beautiful girl Caro NG here again and welcome back to this beautiful channel where we grow and glow when you see me in this we are automatically cleaning so I'm going to tag you along as I clean my steel pots some of my superiors I will show you how I normally do them and before you go ahead and watch this video in case you have not subscribed please consider subscribing Hit the notification bell so that when I upload a new video, you can always be the first to see. I'm sorry about my front camera. It's that dull, but I will work on it very, very soon. So guys, let's get into the video and watch to the end so that you can collect some tips. So this is the condition of my sufurias. As you can see, they are not clean. I've not ju done justice to them for such a long time. So we are going to be cleaning them. Uh, so this video, I'm only using uh, two, uh, three things. I will be using my sunlight soap, this one. You can either use sunlight, some people use Ushindi soap, some people use bathing soap, but I normally use sunlight. And as usual, my Soconi steel, steel wool, which never disappoints. And I also have some warm water there. So that you can achieve good results, just make, uh, just make sure you're using the right soap the right steel wool, and at least some warm water. So guys, let's get into it. In case you are using the rolled steel wire, just make sure you unroll it first because it will be easy to wash using it when it is unrolled. With the warm water, you of course realize that you don't uh, use a lot of energy while, while scrubbing, so that's why it's advisable to use warm other than cold water. During the washing process, uh, when you realize that the water is getting colder, just add in more hot water because we have said that hot water and a warm water normally give the best results. You struggle less and your sufuria completely get clean. but on this day I decided to clean them so that they, I can store them when clean so guys I'm done cleaning but uh, they are all soapy so I'm going to do a rinse and this is how I normally do my rinsing I'll first rinse using cold water to just remove the foam then I will do a normal cleaning I don't know if you have ever realized ukipika then uh, ukienda kupika you realize uh, sufuria inanuka Kuna kiwaya. It is because you don't clean with soap after cleaning with steel wire. It is uh, necessary to do a recleaning, a normal recleaning after you finish scrubbing them. So guys, let's do it as we finish up. Point, I've done the first rinsing and I'm now cleaning them using soap and my normal scrubbing uh, item. So ensure you do that because of that iron smell that is usually in the spurious after you clean using steel wire. So these are the results. You can see it. Sparkling, clean. They don't have any funny iron smell. And yeah, that's it, guys. Uh, yeah, they are very clean and I'm finally happy. Some people ask on the best ways to store steel wire. What I normally do, I normally store mine in my blue band container. This one, what I do, you ensure, always ensure that uh, the water that is here is clean. I need to drain this one. 
you don't have uh, you don't uh, recycle wire water make sure every other time you clean it uh, you clean using the steel wire you replace uh, the water and also you can also add in these uh, leftover soaps uh, let me just call them leftover these small soaps so that it cannot rust that is the best way to to store it clean water use some soap and always ensure that you drain that dirty water every morning or every other time you clean so guys i wish to end this short video here i hope you have learned something i hope you have learned a tip it's that easy it's easy cleaning uh, alu uh are they iron pots are they called iron or aluminium pots you only need a uh, clean water clean warm water steel wire and ushindi soap or sunlight soap some people use bathing soap but i'll prefer you use either ushindi or sunlight so guys bye bye and make sure you subscribe and hit the notification bell in case i post a new video you will always be the first to see get me to 500 subscribers and help my watch hours grow because i want us to get monetized before the 12 months and we are only four months to go so guys help me get there bye bye let's meet in our next video i love you